What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Therese. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Welcome to a new year. <laughs> it's 2021. Yeah. Bye bye 2020. See ya 2020. Down the toilet you go in 2021. Hopefully, you're going to bring us a whole bunch of sunshine. I already deleted 2020 anyway. Uh, 2020 is already gone. It's already gone. It's gone. Well, hopefully, it's gone in your guys' mind too. I, I think 2020 affected everybody in a negative way, one way, shape, or form. Whether it be personal, relationship, because you guys couldn't stand each other because you guys were next to each other all the time. <laughs> and that's not a usual thing, right? <laughs> um, you know, hopefully you guys are all right. And hopefully you're going into 2021 with a breath of fresh air, right? Ready to start a brand new year, a brand new you, right? And with that should come a lot of different other things. So you should be wanting to progress every year, right? Or every day. Every day, when, for sure. When, you know, I mean, in one way or another, you should be learning a new word. You should be trying to do better at your job, do, do f physical, uh, health-wise, whatever it may be. But you should be progressing in some of these different areas, okay? And, you know, some people need that New Year's resolution to really start off, <laughs> right? To yeah. start that year off. Now, me, uh, I think Sharice is the exact same way. Like, we make these New Year's resolutions like, oh, we're going to, you know, we're going to do a lot better in this, this, and this. But I think we're motivated every day. I know. I kind of just made my resolution like daily. So when I wake up, I'm like, okay, so we're going to do this today. Right. And I do it tomorrow. I'm like, okay, we're going to do this tomorrow. <laughs> it's just a daily thing. You want to be better than yesterday. I think it's all about setting goals, like setting daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals. Monthly goals, Right? Yeah. Setting those goals and then setting time periods of where you need to hit it. Even if you're at work. So she says it with some of the employees, she'll set you know, the amount of work and how much time they have to complete that work, right? <laughs> so it's not a forever thing. You're not just, you know, going on and on with this this one thing. And that's really how you should be, you know, whatever goal it is. So whether it's a relationship goal, which you should always want to improve on, and it is a job, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're in a relationship, don't think that you can just get into it. At that point, you're like, all right, I'm in this. Uh, everything's, you know, where it needs to be. Now I'm going to become complacent, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's not going to work. You know, you guys good. are going to grow apart or something's going to happen. Where yeah, they get old. Like, you know, it gets old after, like, so long. It gets old. And you got to do something to make it better. It, it doesn't even have to be in the bedroom because I'm sure that's where everybody's head goes. But it doesn't even have to be like that. It could just be anything. Do something different together. You know, me and John went roller skating with our son not yep. that long ago, which was kind of cool because oh, yeah. it kind of brought back some memories of like our childhood and we were able to share that with each other. But it was different. And it's great physical activity. Yes. Especially that's when another you fall. Good it was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you don't fall or hurt yourself, okay? <laughs> you're not 15 anymore, John. Oh, uh, you're not gonna bounce back maybe as fast, but <laughs> it's a good. It's it's one of those good things, like like she said, like you know, we go, we're together. You know, if you have a family, awesome. It's great sharing that family time and sharing that nostalgia, right, of when we were kids, and, and be able to pass that on to our son. But if you're just a couple, that's another bonding experience. It's something that maybe one of you or both of you were good at, like me and Sharice back in the day. And it brings back those good memories, and you can share those memories with your partner, which, you know, in turn, it just shares more about you, and it gives a more inner look at who you are and where you came from, which is great, right? So you want to open up to your partner in those ways. And you want to do these new things. So find something new. Now, depending on what state you're in, you might have some restrictions, you might not. Mm. Uh, you know, do whatever you need to do. But at that point, find something that you guys can do this year. Make a goal. Make a plan um, that you guys can follow through on. So if it's getting healthier together and better physical shape. I know we talk about this all the time, mm -hmm. but it's really depending on you guys. And this is the beginning of the year. So think of the new year, new you type deal and uh, really put it in place. Put that goal in front of you guys and how you're going to get there. Not, not just saying, I'm going to be healthier this year. I'm going to be more active this year. What are you actually going to do? So it's really planning these things. It's planning your attack per se and going after it and really getting it. So whether well, it's a nutritional plan, find out somebody that can help you out with nutrition. If it's physical activity, you want to go to the gym, find somebody that can help you out, a real trainer. And don't mm -hmm. don't uh, go for the bottom of the barrel. Make sure that <laughs> somebody <your> credit. <laughs> Yeah, make sure somebody's educated, they have certifications that can really teach you these things proper ways because you don't want to get injured either. Mm -hmm. Right? That's another thing that comes along with physical activities. And when you get old it's injuries. <laughs> so the proper things to do is like warming up, making sure everything's good, uh, make sure you're doing proper form. And we have stuff therapies like that. for that, by the way. We have therapies for healing <laughs> or, or injuries. So <laughs> I just mentioned inflammation. <laughs> you know, so we offer all, all these different therapies. 
Um, the next thing is, is like I said, so if you guys are going to get in physical shape together, you guys are planning that together, that's awesome. Plan some sort of getaway. So me and Sharice usually go on vacation mm. at least two times a year usually. for her birthday and for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look, we didn't do it last year, and we're in a new year. It doesn't look like we're going to hit our anniversary trip. That's January 21st. Meh. So uh, that's not good because we usually don't miss that, right? But, you know, we got to plan something else. Whether it's in the state of Florida, where we're at, and maybe going down and trying to do a getaway, which never really happens. <laughs> right? Even when we go out of the country, it never really happens. <laughs> but, but, you know, I mean, but other couples are different, right? So if you're working a nine to five, or maybe you're a business owner, you guys can go get this getaway in. You know, go to a hotel that you've never been to before. Um, for me, I would try to find a hotel, like a hotel room maybe has your own jacuzzi well, in it. Well, actually, no, we right? just did that not that long ago. And we did it because we didn't get to go anywhere, remember? Yep. Yeah, yep. we went. To, and it was like, because obviously we don't have any time, but it was local, right? Yeah. And it was a spa. Yep. And we did like a whole day spa. Yep. And it was so cool. Because nice. we went there and you know what they did? They made me put my phone in a locker. It was terrible. I just, I was so, I was so anxious. Cause no, not my phone. So, but it made you, you know, be together. And yeah. that's what we did. It was really cool. We got Quality massages time. and they had this little um, jacuzzi room yeah. and not like a hot, like a, what was that thing? The sauna. Yeah. I had a sauna and you had it private. Like it was just you and your significant other. Yeah. And then you got like a, an hour and a half massage and then a facial scrub and you guys are together, you know, doing couple stuff. And then they had like a little outside area where you could eat like in a little That's picnic cool. kind of deal. So cool. it was really cool. They let you bring your own champagne bottle. That was cool. Yeah. And then, you know, it was a, it was a day thing. So we didn't have to go far. It's here where we live. And um, I didn't have to take the whole day away, so I was able to work in the morning. And then I still was able to close up, you know, shop. So it was nice. But it was different. You know, this is kind of, you know, an idea, I should say. Look for those little things around yeah, you. You might not cool. have even known they're there. Because, like, we didn't know this spa was there. No. It's been there for, like, nine, ten years. It was something <laughs> crazy. Like, like, hey, how long have you been here? Like, well, a year, six months? No, no, no. We've been here, like, nine or ten years. Like, oh, like, oh, wow. <laughs> didn't even know about this place. But very cool things. And in some of those places, you'll find these little, really cool things, like, like the room, like the one room that had like this huge tub where they had a hot bath with and a jacuzzi Thanks. too, right? They had the, the red light therapy, right? That was really cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had the shower for you just in this one room. And then they let you in there for a whole hour. So they had you in there a whole hour, you know, to have, you know, your own relaxing downtime. Um, you know, one, one thing that was really funny was like, don't lock the door and don't <laughs> take your clothes off. Because it was that kind of mood in there. I could definitely see couples, you know, maybe, maybe get it on or whatever it is. But, you know, so they, they did put that warning out there. But it was just really, really cool to, to do that. Yeah, I, I do cool. agree. Um, you know, hitting a restaurant maybe you guys have never ate at before. Well, that's that's another one. I know we maybe talk about these different things. Now, me and Sharice really We're don't. Weird. We don't like to go outside our, our comfort zone, per yeah, se. We just eat at the same place. This is what we do. Literally, I'm not even kidding. It's so weird, okay? We eat at the same place, and we eat the same exact dinner when we go every single weekend. Well, it's been like that for 10 years. So, I mean, if they get the order wrong, that would be absolutely terrible. But it's the same exact thing. And that's okay for both of us because we want to do that, you know? Yep. I think anytime we've ever had to venture out, I'm like, I don't know about this. Can we just go back? <laughs> <laughs> we, ha we have found some rarities, though, by doing that. Like, you know, like one for a restaurant we couldn't go to at that point in time. I think one day we went to another one. It was like, awesome. Or, you know, when a friend recommends, we're like, oh, you know, like this other place, Four Beaches, you know, this is the time. Now we eat every day through we eat. So it's just really crazy. So you might find those little those little gems out there that you might really like. Or you might be a foodie, per se, and you want to go experience all these different things. and Or you might like to experience different things. Or your palate might like different tastes. Mine doesn't, but hey, I listen. I don't know what a palate is. Most people look at us like we're weird, and we look at you guys <laughs> like you're weird. So <laughs> if you guys are judging us, don't, right? <laughs> <laughs> Even our friends are like, oh, you got to try this kind of venture out. I'm like, like, I'm good. Nah. I'm good. Nah. You know, I mean, we, we were eating pizza last night, right? We like cheese or cheese and pepperoni. And oh, yeah. Went to a friend's restaurant. They just <laughs> opened. And, and at that point, one of our friends like, oh, you got to have the, the chicken the chi one. I'm like, like I'm the good. buffalo chicken no. uh, pizza. I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> no. I'm good. Like, it's so good. It's so good. I'm like, you know what? Then you enjoy that buffalo chicken pizza. <laughs> yeah. Stick to what we like, right? Yummy chicken pizza. 
<laughs> so these are just some things, man. I mean, 2021 should bring you guys a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, and a lot of progress, right? Um, you know, don't have a negative attitude coming into this year. With everything that's happened or still going on, keep the positive attitude. Try not to have that stuff bring you down. Concentrate on what really makes you happy. I, I think in 2021, that's uh, something I'm going to work on a little bit more, and I think everybody should work on that trying to make yourself happy just a little bit more, right? Because me, I like to make other people happy. That That's what, what I do. Like, you know, I, I like I like other people to be, I like to be a good host, right? And, and that function all the way around. So if people need stuff, I like to take care of it or whatever it you is. You just do that over and over and over and you kind of just disappear. It is, it you is. You know, we're, we're, we are professional yes. people. I mean, I should be, I should be a magician. Yes. Because I dis just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, we're used to doing that, though. So I mean, that is a good point, yep. you know, to try to make yourself happy. Try to do yourself things happy. to make don't be selfish. Happy. Yeah. But you know, try to to do some things that will make you ha more happier in twenty twenty one. AKA going to the gym because he never gets to go. That's me. And he needs to go. Me. And he wants to go. Me. If he doesn't go, he's like, Arr! and I'm like, Arr! a lot so of work. I just you know, and it's not a lot of time he's asking for either. He's like one hour of the whole day, like a. Uh, that's all I'm asking, you know. Did that some days. Yeah, so 40, day, 40 half minutes. An hour, 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Push them through, you know. So it's, you know, it's little things that you know it, that can make a big difference for that sure. you, that will make you happy. Like you know, for me, for instance, you know, obviously for those of you that don't know or maybe do know, I got COVID in July, put me in the ICU, changed my life forever. Um, but one thing that makes me happy now, and I used to not care about it. Maybe I'm just getting old. Um, but I need my sleep. Uh -huh. Like I need, I didn't listen. I used to be like, when I tell you both, like both ends of the candlestick and on top of another candlestick, that is how I burned it. Just like that. So I was just go, 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 go. And I like that. Like I, that I feed off that like pace. I like that pace. Like, bop, 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 bop. but you know, when you burn all the way down to nothing, you kind of figure like, oh no. So now that I've, I've had to get the sleep for my health and just for myself now i'm like wow you know i do i like i feel much different when i get sleep yeah. you know and i, I my immune system's better uh, my mood's better i have more more energy you know I get more clarity when i think um there's a lot of different things that come with that and it's something small you yep. know all i'm asking for is like like actually seven hours like you know instead of getting just three so it's made a big difference for me. It's huge. I mean, the, 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 the pillars, like we always talk about, activity, nutrition, and sleep. sleep. So if you guys want to feel better every day, <laughs> Go to get sleep. those three <laughs> things in. I promise you. Because if you're lacking in sleep, you're probably not going to be all there. You're going to be, you know, a little foggy-minded, slower-paced. Nutrition is another part of this. you gotta, you got to feed the beast, right? you got to feed the machine. you got to put that gas in the tank, you know, and... Um, you know, activity, you know, you want to make sure that blood is flowing. You want to make sure you're building your immune system. You know, your, your physical appearance is good, right? Because that's a huge point nowadays. So just make sure that you guys are getting these pillars in. I hope these tips have helped you guys out or will help you guys out in this beautiful new year of 2021. So Yippee. we are here for you guys <laughs> every week. Cupid's Corner. Please tune in. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. Bye.